the red blood cell. In humans, mature red blood cells are flexible and oval biconcave discs. This is how a red blood cell is. Biconcave discs. The red blood cell does not have a nucleus. What is the advantage? It allows the red blood cell to have more hemoglobin. The more hemoglobin one has, the more oxygen molecules it can carry. And therefore it allows RBCs to transfer more oxygen. Lack of nucleus in the RBC also allows the cell to have a unique biconcave shape. And that helps with diffusion. 2 million red blood cells are removed from the circulation each second in each healthy human living at sea level. 2 million red blood cells are removed each second. These millions of cells are replaced by the same amount of newly formed cells that leave the bone marrow as reticulocytes which share the features of precursor cells and mature red blood cells but they are vulnerable and unstable. It takes several days for reticulocytes to undergo transformations and become mature red blood cells, stable and ready to function as gas carriers for the following 100 days. For that's how each cell lives. Today we understand the mechanisms triggering stimulation of red blood cell production in response to low oxygen levels. And these include the production of a hormone erythropoietin by the kidneys and its release into the bloodstream. As soon as erythropoietin reaches stem cells in the bone marrow, it binds to receptors at their membrane and signals them to start dividing and to choose to become red blood cells. As a result, the number of newly formed neocytes released into the circulation grow up to tenfold, giving rise to more circulating red blood cells that transports more oxygen from the lungs to all organs in the body. Which is the key? It is erythropoietin. Understanding of the signaling mechanism helps one to harness it, produce recombinant erythropoietin and help people that cannot produce this hormone. Athletes sometimes make illegal use of this knowledge, applying erythropoietin to improve performance. Why? Because it increases red blood cells and thereby the oxygen carrying capacity. Discovering the age of a tree involves counting the growth rings and similar to that the age of the red blood cell may be estimated by the gradual transformation of one of the membrane proteins historically known as protein 4.1 from a native to a deaminated state making this protein a molecular clock intrinsic in all circulating red blood cells therefore by understanding the level or the maturity of protein 4.1, we can understand how aged the red cell has become. The cytoplasm of erythrocytes is rich in hemoglobin. This is an iron containing biomolecule that can bind oxygen and is responsible for the red color of the cells and the blood. Each human red cell contains approximately 270 million of these hemoglobin molecules. The cell membrane is composed of proteins and lipids and it is this structure that provides properties essential for physiologic cell function such as deformability and stability while traversing the circulatory system and specifically the capillary network. It is this cell membrane composed of proteins and lipids 
that allow it the deformability and stability the cell membrane is composed of proteins and lipids this structure provides properties essential for physiological cell function such as deformability and stability while traversing the circulatory system specifically the capillary network the amazing architecture of the single red blood cell this is the ion within this is the oxygen molecule combining with hemoglobin and scurrying along the entire vascular system of the human body in humans mature blood red blood cells are flexible and oval by concave discs they lack a cell nucleus in most organelles why in order to accommodate maximum space for hemoglobin they can be viewed as sacs of hemoglobin with a plasma membrane as the sac approximately 2.4 milli- millions of new erythrocytes are produced per second in the human adult the cells develop in the bone marrow circulate for about 100 days before their components are recycled by macrophages each circulation takes about 60 second the entire root of the human body circulated by 1 minute 84% of the cells in the human body are the 30 trillion red blood cells nearly half the blood's volume that is 45% is composed of red blood cells the proteins of the membrane skeleton are responsible for the deformability flexibility and durability of the red cells enabling it to squeeze through capillaries less than half the diameter of a red blood cell that is 7 to 8 micromillimeter micrometer 7 to 8 micrometer and recovering the discoid shape as soon as these cells stop receiving the compressive forces in a similar fashion to an object made of rubber now apart from the four groups that we know a b ab and o there are newer groups identified number 1 the digo blood group defined by band 3 the colton blood group defined by acoporin 1 and the lutheran blood group defined by bcam it is these newer blood groups even though the blood is cross matched that causes sometimes the transfusion reactions i repeat what are the newer blood groups the digo blood group the colton blood group and the lutheran blood group when red blood cells undergo shear stress in a constricted vessel they release atp which causes vessel walls to relax and dilate so, so as to promote normal blood flow see the amazing action when the red blood cells are constricted they release atp telling the vessel to relax and help them pass when the hemoglobin molecules are deoxygenated red blood cells release as nitrosothiols then this dilates the blood vessels <clears throat> thereby directing more blood to areas the body is depleted of oxygen the amazing mechanisms by which red blood cells perform the dilation of blood vessels number 1 by releasing atp and number 2 by releasing s nitrosothiols red blood cells can also produce hydrogen sulfide now this is a signaling gas that acts to release relax blood vessels it is believed that the <coughs> cardio protective effect of garlic are due to red blood cells converting its sulfur compound into hydrogen sulfide dilating blood vessels getting better oxygen supply and nourishment human red blood cells are produced through a process named erythropoiesis developing from committed stem cells to mature red blood cells in about 7 days time so from birth 
to maturation takes about 7 days and then they live for about 100 days. When matured in a healthy individuals, these cells live in the blood circulation for about 100 to 120 days. At the end of their lifespan, they are old and thereby removed from circulation. Creation Erythropoiesis is the process by which new blood cells, red blood cells are produced. It takes about 7 days from incubation to maturity. Through this process, red blood cells are continuously produced in the bone marrow of large bones. In the embryo, the liver is the main site of red blood cell product production. This production can be stimulated by the hormone erythropoietin and when is the hormone released more to trigger extra production in higher altitudes. Now just before and after leaving the bone marrow, the developing cells are known as reticulocytes and these constitute about 1% of circulating red blood cells. Lifetime The functional lifetime of a red blood cell is about 100 to 120 days, during which time the red blood cells are continuously moved by the blood flow push in arteries and by the pull in veins. And a combination of the two as they squeeze through the micro vessels such as capillaries. They are also recycled in the bone marrow. Aging Senescence The aging red blood cell undergoes changes in its plasma membrane making it susceptible to selective recognition by macrophages and subsequent phagocytosis in the molecular phagocyte system. Which are the molecular phagocyte system is in the spleen, the liver and the lymph nodes. Thus, removing old and defective cells and continuously purging the blood. Now, this process is termed eryptosis, red blood cell programmed death. This process normally occurs at the same rate of production by erythropoiesis, balancing thereby the total circulating red blood cell count. The normal RBC range for men is 4.7 to 6.1 million cells per microliter. Note the unit 4.7 to 6.1 million cells per microliter. Now the hematocrit, also known as by several other names, is the volume percentage of the red blood cells in blood. Now this is measured as a part of a blood test. Now the hematocrit measurement depends on the number and size of red blood cells. Therefore it is normally 40 to 50 percent for men, 36 to 44 percent for women. The hematocrit known by several names and is a measure of the volume percentage of red blood cell in blood. What is the volume percentage ranges from 40 to 50 percent in men. Now we have the erythrocyte sedimentation rate and this is the rate at which red blood cells in anticoagulated whole blood descend in a standardized tube over a period of one hour. Now the Vestigran original normal values. What is the normal value of ESR? In men it is 3 millimeters per hour and in women about 7 millimeters per hour. But newer Methods of testing involve addition of age. What is hemoglobin? Hemoglobin is the protein molecule in red blood cells that carries oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues and returns carbon dioxide from the tissues back to the lungs. This is the vessel the red blood cells are running within and it contains hemoglobin wherein iron is firmly attached, fixed and transported. With the help of the hemoglobin, the oxygen is taken in and transported. It is the main oxygen carrier or the single most important or the only oxygen carrier for the body. Now let us have a look at the various hemoglobin levels in newborn as you note here, it is pretty high at about 24 grams per deciliter. A week later, it quickly dips down 
to about 19 and then in about a month's time it is about 15 and in a child it is about 14 but thereafter it rises a bit and in males humans in males adults it's about 15 to 17 whereas in females it's a little less at the maximum being 16 grams per deciliter however as one ages it reduces and in a male it can go down to 14 and in a female up to 10 the normal hemoglobin levels by age group the first person to describe red blood cell was the young Dutch biologist Jan Swammerdam and he used an early microscope in 1658 to study the blood of a frog but however unaware of this work the well-known Anton van Leeuwenhoek provided another microscopic description in 1674 but this time providing a more precise description of the red blood cell even approximating their size to 25,000 times smaller than a fine grain of sand. In 1901, Carl Landsteiner published his discovery of the three main blood groups A, B and C which he later named O. Landsteiner described the regular patterns in which reactions occurred when serum was mixed with red blood cells identifying thereby compatible and conflicting combinations between these blood groups. A year later, Alfred von Di Castello and Adriano, two colleagues of Landsteiner, identified a fourth blood group and that is AB. So the four blood groups are A, B, AB and O. This is a diagrammatic representation. The blood deoxygenated comes down envelops the pulmonary alveoli and from here the gas exchange happens it gets oxygenated and then the oxygenated blood goes to the heart to be distributed to the rest of the body this is the deoxygenated blood coming from all across the body with the carbon dioxide laden erythrocyte or the red cell and within the alveoli the gas exchange happens and carbon dioxide comes out and oxygen goes in to be distributed now take a deep breath imagine the oxygen going in hold it for a second the diffusion happens and all the carbon dioxide you breathe out where do you get the oxygen from when you're breathing in where is this oxygen coming from it's coming from nature's gift the trees we are indebted to them because they take in the carbon dioxide and then they bring out the oxygen which we so freely take in and live to enjoy life but how gratuitous we are and what is the gratitude we give to the trees who give us our oxygen allowing us to live we cut them and make paper. Nasty humans. <laughs>